Hi. You know, we spend an awful lot of time on the road traveling to different locations for world of photography. We get to see some very interesting places and meet an awful lot of very interesting people. We get to watch a lot of professional photographers who share their tricks of the trade with us. You know, working with all that talent, you just got to become a better photographer. But I'll tell you what's bothering me. Here's a perfect example. Every day, I must see a million beautiful shots right through the windshield. Now, I've got all my own camera equipment right here, and believe me, that is half the battle. How many times have you said to yourself when you've seen a, a beautiful sunset or a spectacular shot, you say, oh man, if only I had my camera. Well, I've always got mine with me. But there's my problem. I get my pictures back and they have some strange looking reflection right through the middle of my gorgeous shot. I might as well have left my camera at home. Okay, well, the obvious solution is get out of the van to shoot the picture. If you can do that, you should. But a lot of times our schedule won't even let us stop. So if I want to shoot the picture, I've got to do it on the fly. Everybody at one time or another finds themselves in a situation where they have to shoot through glass. It might be looking out of a 747 at a beautiful skyline, or maybe trying to take a picture through the window of a display case at a store or a museum. Or you might want to take that first picture of baby in the infant nursery. You want the picture, but not the reflection. So what do you do? The first thing you can do is move around a little bit. See if you can find some angle that minimizes or eliminates the reflections. I can't seem to really get the reflection out of there, and besides, by moving around like this, I'm messing up the shot that I wanted in the first place. Now, the next thing you can do is get as close as possible to the piece of glass that's causing you the reflection problem. Now, the glass in my lens is slightly recessed behind the rim of my lens, so I can actually touch it like that, right up against the windshield without causing any damage. What I've done here is really create my own barrier against reflections. I'm right up against the windshield. You might be thinking that if there's a scratch or some dirt or some kind of reflection on there, it'll show up in the finished picture. Well, it won't because it's so close to the lens that it'll be way, way out of focus. So this actually works pretty well, and that's another out for you. But the best way to control reflections is by using one of these. It's a polarizing filter, and it'd take a science teacher to explain how it works. Something about vibrating planes of polarized light, but that's not important right now. What is important to know is that by using a polarizing filter, you can virtually eliminate reflections in glass. Now, when I aim my camera back at that windshield, I can't even see inside because of all the reflections. But I put my polarization filter on, and my reflection problems are over. Using a polarizing filter is pretty simple. You just twist it, just like this, until the reflections disappear. The other tip about using a polarizing filter is you can just tilt your camera at about a 35 degree angle to the glass that you're trying to take a picture through, and that should eliminate most of the reflections. However, if you're using a 35 millimeter camera, a single lens reflex, you're seeing right through the lens. So just twist the polarizing filter until the picture looks good to you, and that should get rid of most of the reflections. When I found out about polarizing filters, well, I went right out and bought one for every lens that I have because in addition to killing reflections, polarizing filters are a really handy filter to have around. Because if you're trying to take a picture of, say, the sky and the clouds, a polarizing filter will tend to darken the sky just a little bit and make the clouds stand out for a much more dramatic picture. And in a water scene, for instance, if you're using a polarizing filter, you'll get a lot richer, deeper blue. And of course now, I'm getting nice shots while I'm on the road.